What's the best part about teamwork? Someone else to blame. Today, I'm going to recap a 2017 action thriller film called The Fate of the Furious. A quick warning, there will be major spoiler ahead. The film opens in Cuba where Dom and Letty are celebrating their honeymoon. They are checking out a car that has a boat engine in it when Dom's cousin Fernando is getting his car towed by a guy named Raldo. Fernando tries to talk Raldo out of towing the car, but he reminds Fernando how much he owes to get it. Dom then steps in to defend his cousin and gets upset when Raulo talks back to Letty. Dom challenges Raulo to a street race. If he wins, he gets Raulo's car, but if Raulo wins, he gets Dom's Impala. Raulo agrees. Dom switches out the engine in Fernando's car with something more souped up. He races Raulo in Fernando's car. The two go down the Cuban mile, with Raulo outrunning Dom until Dom ignites the fuel and sends the car soaring through the streets. One of Raulo's guys tries to sabotage Dom by throwing his motorcycle in front of the car, but Dom continues to ride. However, the engine catches fire and only gets hotter the faster Dom goes. Dom manages to cross the finish line first, but he jumps out of the burning car as it flies into the river. The crowd of people surrounds Dom and Raldo as they step up to each other. Raldo takes out his keys to the car and offers it to Dom, along with his respect. Dom tells Raldo to keep his car, as his respect is good enough. Dom apologizes to Fernando about the car and tosses him the keys to his Impala, which according to Dom, is more fit for a Toretto. The crowd cheers. Later on, Dom is going around town when he notices a woman named Cypher trying to fix something in her car. Dom helps out, but Cypher then addresses Dom by name. He knows something is up, and she tells him she wants him to work for her. She takes out a phone and shows Dom something clearly personal to him, leaving him with no choice. We cut to Hobbs, giving a rousing speech to a highly trained team of girls' stalker players. He is coaching his daughter's team and is trying to get them amped as they go up against the opposing team. An agent, D.S. Allen, approaches Hobbs and tells him on an EMP in Berlin that has been detected with the potential to take out the power grid of entire cities. Hobbs agrees to the job, but only after his daughter scores a goal. He later calls Dom to round up the team for the job. Dom and Hobbs go to Berlin with Letty, Tej, Roman, and Ramsey. They have the EMP in their possession, and now have a number of goons on their tail. They take them out with a wrecking ball that Tej helped set up. When they get far enough, they split up. Hobbs rides next to Dom and thanks him for the help, promising beers when this is over. Dom doesn't say a word but then slams into Hobbs' truck, causing him to crash. Dom takes the EMP and leaves Hobbs to get arrested, as he informs the others that Dom has gone rogue. Hobbs is locked up in the same prison as Deckard Shaw, with their cells right across from each other. Before being taken to his cell, Hobbs meets with Frank Petty, aka Mr. Nobody, and his new partner, Eric Reisner, who is later nicknamed Little Nobody. Mr. Nobody wants to help Hobbs and vice versa, but Hobbs doesn't quite trust him. When Little Nobody mentions Hobbs' daughter, Hobbs holds the guy against the wall until Mr. Nobody calms him down. The rest of the crew is hiding out of a garage, still in disbelief that Dom betrayed them. When Ramsey questions Dom's loyalty, Letty sticks up for him and reminds her that if it wasn't for him, she wouldn't be alive. In prison, Hobbs and Deckard exchange banter before Mr. Nobody has Hobbs's cell door open automatically. The guards come in to put Hobbs back, but Deckard grabs one guard and uses his baton to escape from his own cell before freeing all the other prisoners. Hobbs and Deckard make a run for it, fighting off both guards and inmates. The two are then met by Mr. Nobody. Hobbs and Deckard join the rest of the crew at Nobody's HQ as they are brief on Cypher. Deckard knows her because she recruited his brother, Owen, to steal the Nightshade and was also involved in getting Mose Jackand to steal the God's Eye surveillance system. Since Dom foiled both those plans, it makes sense that she would go after him directly. Letty recognizes Cypher's henchman, Connor Rhodes, from her days working with Owen. Roman suggests they use God's eye to locate Dom. When Ramsey tries to do so, they get hit with signals from all around the globe. After removing the least likely areas, they are left with one location, the very building they are standing in. An explosion goes off and knocks everyone down. Dom and Cypher come in and steal God's eye. As they are walking away, Letty calls Dom out and asks if he's really going to turn his back on his family. Dom doesn't say a word, but Cypher walks up to him and kisses him in front of Letty. At their hideout, Dom asks Cypher why she kissed him. She says it is all about the choices they make, 
and he did not choose to turn her away, even with Letty watching. We then learned the real reason Dom is working with her. She is keeping his former flame, Alina prisoner, along with a son that Dom never knew about. Alina takes the little boy out and says she calls him Marcus, but that's just his middle name as she wanted Dom to pick his first name. Rhodes then brings Cypher a gun, which she hands to Dom and gives him the choice of shooting her, but first warns him that they are being watched, and if he pulls the trigger, her men will storm in and kill him plus Alina and Marcus. Dom has no choice but to hand the gun back to Cypher. Cypher's next mission for Dom has him go to New York to pick up a nuclear football with launch codes from a Russian ambassador. Dom makes a stop when he tells Cypher his motor is stuck. Knowing she has eyes on him, he manages to obscure himself in the right spot while he goes to visit Magdalene Shaw, mother of Owen and Deckard. Despite knowing what Dom did to both her sons, he approaches her with a request for help, appealing to her as a parent. Dom makes it back to the car before Cypher realizes he left. The crew goes after Dom in the city. Cypher and her men hack into almost every car in the city and take control of them, causing them all to drive themselves and crash into other cars. She even makes cars drive themselves out of high parking garages, so the car can come falling to the ground, sending the people into a frenzy. This stops the ambassador's limo so Dom can take the football. He threatens to blow the limo up unless they hand it over, which they do. The crew catches up to Dom and tries to take him in using hooks. Dom manages to pull them all off and evade them and he also appears to shoot Deckard dead when they confront each other. Letty goes after Dom herself. She grabs the briefcase and tries to get away, with Dom hesitating to go after her, and tries to remind him that he loves her. Rhodes catches Letty and almost shoots her until Dom holds his gun up to Rhodes. Letty lets go of the briefcase, and Dom and Rhodes get away. Upon returning to the hideout, Cypher expresses disappointment at Dom, nearly letting Letty get away. She is holding Marcus in her arms menacingly while Alina is tied up and has tape over her mouth. Dom is helpless as he watches Rhodes execute Alina in cold blood, and Marcus starts crying upon hearing loud gunfire. The final mission sees Cypher sending Dom to Iceland to take control of a massive war submarine. The crew heads on over with cars given to them by Mr. and Little Nobody. Dom uses the EMP to take out anyone going after him until he gets to the submarine to let Cypher hack into it. Meanwhile, on the plane that she is boarding, she is unaware that it has been hijacked by both Deckard and Owen. As we learn in a flashback, from the moment Dom went to visit Magdalene, he had help from Raldo in keeping a low profile. After he shot Deckard and faked his death, Deckard was picked up by Leo and Santos before Magdalene revived Deckard herself. The brothers go through the plane and take out the villains while Deckard safely recovers Marcus. He confirms with Dom, who now has no reason to continue working for Cypher. Rhodes is ready to shoot at the crew until Dom steps out and starts fighting him. Dom slams Rhodes down onto his car and breaks his neck in retribution for Alina. He also lets Cypher know that his son is safe and that he's going after her. Cypher takes control of the sub as her henchmen go after the crew. Dom then comes to the rescue, slamming into one of the henchmen vans and causing it to fire missiles at the other goons, letting the crew know that Dom is back. Roman, who took a Lambo, starts to slide down into the icy water. Tej gets him out by hooking onto the front door and pulling Roman out. Roman uses the door to slam the villains, riding in on snowmobiles before shooting them. He gets picked up by Hobbs. Cypher then launches torpedoes from the sub at the crew. Hobbs steps out and manages to move the torpedo with his own hands and send it at one of the villains' vans. Cypher then launches a heat-seeking missile at the crew. Dom has them split up as it follows him so he can ride it back toward the sub. He jumps the car over the sub and causes the missile to hit the sub, blowing it up spectacularly. Dom jumps out of his car as it burns. The explosion nearly hits him until the crew rides in and shields Dom from the flames. As this happens, Deckard finds Cypher in her plane after she finds out her sub is destroyed. She jumps out of the plane with a parachute and forces Deckard to stay behind as he catches Marcus before he falls out of the plane. Dom and Letty then reunite and kiss. Dom and the crew return home, now a whole family once again. Mr. Nobody tells Hobbs that Cypher is still on the loose and was rumored to be spotted in Athens. He and Little Nobody offer Hobbs his job back, but he decided he wants to take a break and spend more time with his daughter. Decker then arrives and brings Marcus to Dom. The two have a newfound respect for each other. With everyone seated at the table for supper, 
Dom introduces his son to everyone with his official first name, Brian. Dom then sits down to say grace. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy hit the like button, and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.